Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well. As you can see, we've got two T-style guitars in the studio from Shiji. Yes, that's right. You might remember about a year and a half ago, I took a look at their Strat model, the STE. I'll link to that one above, but it was pretty much the first time anybody in the Western world had ever heard of the brand Shiji or seen their models. And going in, you know, not knowing anything at all about this brand, I was absolutely blown away by the quality. I tore the guitar apart and every time I kind of uncovered the electronics or the trim or the neck, I was blown away by the quality and in a lot of ways put to shame uh, my American Fenders. So anyway, fast forward about a year and a half and the guys from Shiji asked if I'd be interested to check out uh, their T-style models. So these were sent into the channel by Shiji. So we're going to take a close look. This Relic model is very interesting. And of course, as I mentioned, we've got the standard. So we're going to plug them in, tear them apart. Well, maybe one. We'll pick one to, to tear apart, uh, but we'll plug them in and take a listen. So here we go. Now, first things first, here's what comes with a Shiji. Number one, heavy duty padded gig bag, nice wide shoulder straps with lots of padding and the walls are, I don't know if you can see that, but they're super beefy. So nice to have a high quality case. Number two, something I've never seen come with any guitar ever. It's like a little accessory holder made out of roasted maple. Really cool shaped like a guitar so you know you can throw your picks in there it does come with a pick and of course the tools uh, to adjust your guitar in there you can put it on top of your amp or on your desk uh, yeah just kind of cool never seen that before and then of course the spec sheet related to your guitar so all the information you need um, regarding your specific model so that's what comes with a shiji so what exactly are we dealing with well these are both the tlv model this one's obviously the relic versus the standard um, essentially the same guitar uh, obviously the standard has the rosewood fingerboard uh, gotta say it's beautiful deep dark fingerboard uh, roasted maple quarter sawn neck same thing here but obviously with the one piece maple neck roasted quarter sawn really beautiful stuff so anyway let's jump in and take a closer look now as you guys can see i've got the relic up on the bench normally i wait to the end of the video to do the teardown but i'm so curious about this guitar and of course it's the first time i took apart that strat uh, they had no idea i was going to do that and i was just blown away by the internals and uh, you know all the attention to detail so here we go let's take a quick look at the relic now the first thing to note is this model has like the most interesting finish I've ever seen. The standard model obviously is just a regular finish, but this Relic model has like, I don't know, it looks like droplets on the guitar. It's like a textured finish. I'll try to catch it in the light in a few different ways for you guys. But yeah, really interesting. Never seen anything like that before. So it's like, yeah, it's just a textured finish. Uh, really interesting on a guitar. Uh, I gotta say, I love the, the string ferrules are flush. On a lot of models, they stick out from the body, even on super high-end guitars. So I love that Shiji did this. This is a ni nice little touch. Both models have that as well. Um, and then, yeah, just some kind of tasteful edge finishing, I would get, I would say, uh, for this Relic model. Uh, yeah, over, overall really nicely done. But yeah, that, just that finish is, is so unique. Anyway, uh, yeah, here we've got really high-end Godot bridge. Uh, if you look closely on, the, on the, the saddles, they're actually like compensated. So they look like straight barrel saddles, but there's grooves in them to keep them uh, perfectly kind of in, uh, intonated. And then you've got some, you know, kind of pull piece coloring on the pickups. And I'll try to get the neck pickup in there. Yeah, just some light aging, I guess I would say, on some of those components. So anyway that's kind of like the body it's a two-piece alder body same kind of thing that you'd find on an american professional the mexican guitars have at least three pieces sometimes four so nice to have a two-piece uh, alder body so let's go ahead and check out the control cavity first now on the earlier model that ste i believe if memory serves i think there were alpha pots in there so we'll see if there's still alphas you know a few years later or a year and a half later here love doing this because you know i have no idea what to expect so we just get to do it together which is kind of fun so let me just make sure we're in uh in the picture here so here we go let's take a look inside the cavity see if i can pop that up here we go again nice you know kind of like that uh, uh vintage style uh, cloth wiring cover so that's really nice and yes the shielding is the same so happy to see that i tried to do this without all this flopping around for you guys here we go yeah 
Just nice, beautiful shielding, just like the Strat. Love to see it. Fantastic. So glad they're not slack in there. And I'll see if we can get these here. Okay, so these are uh, made in Korea, these pots. So they're not actually alpha pots. I'll take a shot. It's hard to keep it in frame for you guys. But um, yeah, there you go. Made in Korea pots. Next up, we might as well just take the neck off and then we can access all the parts. Uh, really nice kind of like sculpted heel joint there, which is great to see. So let's see if we can take this off. I've loosened the strings. All right, so here we go. Let's flip it over and see if we can kind of just free the neck from the pocket. There we are. Nice tight fit as per usual. Well, while we have the neck out, let's just take a gander at it. Now, this is just amazing. As I said on my, you know, this, the STE model, that flame maple skunk stripe on, you know, the roasted maple, I could gush about this all day. And you know what? I don't even feel bad about gushing about it. It's just awesome. You know, this is how you know you got a Shiji if you got that flame maple stripe just looks killer. Every single guitar I've seen of theirs, and there's been a few other reviews since my initial one, and all of them look just as good. Just stunning. So love, love, love that. Beautiful satin finish on the necks. Um, let's just look at the, the heel here. Yeah, again, just like that STE, finished. Like they take the time to finish around the truss rod wheel <laughs> in there, like who does that? The fender doesn't gibson doesn't like love that all the lines just crisp like what more could you ask for like that is just yeah it's it's high quality stuff that's all i have to say look at the straight grain on there like they they obviously pick like just awesome wood for their guitars there's no doubt about it um they have stainless steel i think as standard now you'll have to check on their site i'll link to the site in the the video description below there but i believe um they're going full stainless on all their guitars now so roasted maple neck quarter sawn and super high quality i'll take some shots of the fret ends while i'm doing this as well um, just because we're looking at the neck and you can sort of get a, a little bit of a sense for the profile but just absolutely beautifully uh, beautifully made and very playable so there we go. I apologize for all the string noise, but I kind of want to keep them on because I'm just going to reassemble this right away. Um, but there you go. Yeah, that's the neck. Again, just exquisite. Next up, let's take off the bridge. As I mentioned, it's the Godo in tune bridge with those uh, compensated saddles that look traditional. Fantastic. Really, really nice. There we go. Okay, so we've got some shielding underneath there uh, with a the wire. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but anyway, yes, there's a wire that goes to the cavity uh, for the ground, which is nice, and a big plate, not just like a loose wire there. So we've got a custom 52 made in Japan. That's what it says on the back uh, of the pickup, and obviously it says that in the specs as well. Uh, see if we can move the whole thing there so you guys can see that. But there you go, custom 52 made in Japan, uh, bridge and neck, and of course we've got the, the classic big, you know, Kelly base plate on there so all looks really really good and again completely finished inside um, there as well so you know love to see it so it's great to see these guys still committed to making ultra high quality instruments you know the attention to details just wonderful both of them have bone nuts cut really well um, as I mentioned you know roasted maple quarter sawn <laughs> necks on the standard here which has the rosewood fingerboard as I mentioned just a beautiful deep color. Love that. Great, great looking neck. Um, because you don't need the skunk stripe on this style of construction, you don't get it, which kind of sucks. Um, but with the one piece maple neck, obviously the truss rod has to go in the back of the neck, which means you do get, you know, that flame maple, which as I mentioned, yep, just my favorite. Love it. Just looks so, so good. So anyway, uh, I guess that's the difference. Uh, if you order one with uh, the rosewood fingerboard, you're probably not gonna get that uh, flame maple skunk stripe. But there you go. Um, yeah, let's plug these in and test them out. As I mentioned, same pickup set, but I think I'll bounce back and forth between uh, playing these two guitars. So here we go, let's plug them in and test out some tones. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So as you guys could hear, classic Telecaster tone for sure, in the bridge pickup, really bright, really spanky, and then all the way through to the neck where you can get some really nice blues tones, even some jazzy type chords sound great on the neck pickup as well. So I have the creeping suspicion that not a lot of people are gonna feel the need uh, to swap out those pickups. I thought they sounded really nice. So here are my final thoughts on the Shiji TLV. Number one, yes, they still occupy that upper high end of bolt-on necks. We're talking like Fender Professional, you know, Deluxe Ultra Series up in there. That's where these Shigis sit. And if you want, you know, some of the neck features like a quarter sawn neck, roasted maple, stainless steel frets, well, you're going to the Fender Custom Shop and that's going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, and that's where these guitars, you know, sit for you know, a third the price or whatever, you get the same quality. And uh, yeah, just a wonderful guitar. I think personally, the only thing I am still on the fence about is the finish on the Relic series. Just takes some getting used to, I think. Just very, very unique. Uh, so I think my personal uh, ultimate combination would be probably a classic series finish, but with the Flame Maple Skunk Stripe. I think that would be the sweet spot for me, but both guitars are awesome. And as I mentioned, uh, yeah, just ultra high end without the big price. So there you go. That's the takeaway. These guys are still committed to making high quality guitars and I commend them for that. That's, as I said, how you grow your business, one customer at a time making high quality guitars. So good on them. Uh, so yeah, those are my final thoughts on the Shigis. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe by clicking my face right here. Other than that, uh, the rest of my information, uh, links to the guitar, the gear I use, all that stuff is down in the video description below. You can check it out there. Other than that, have yourself a great day.